Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode we went to the moon and we completed the first mini dungeon on here. So let's start the second one. Ah, nice weather isn't it? Masks, you have a lot. Yes, 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 yes. We've already had this dialogue before which because it's exactly the same for every single one. This one wants two, so let's give him the Gibdo Mask. More. And the Garo's Mask. Wait, more? Am I... Accidentally doing the third one. I am, aren't I? Yes, I <laughs> I actually wanted to do this in the proper order, but I kind of messed up. It doesn't matter because this one is a really short one. And it doesn't really matter that we are doing this one first. Because I should be able to get this done in a few minutes. Or, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of like a pipe maze. You want to head left. You always want to head left there, and then right here, and then left again. And then there's, on the third junction, you want to head left to get the piece of heart, and right to get to the end. So, we're gonna go left first. Pick up the piece of heart. Which is our second one. And that will teleport you back to the uh, first room there. Uh, you can go to the exits of the other ones. I'm pretty sure there's nothing. Just a war back to the beginning. Like that one. So we want to head left again. And then head to the right. You pretty much want to hug the wall. Because you don't want to go into the wrong one. Because of the currents here. And then we go to the right. Uh, I pretty much like took notes while I was doing this earlier today. When I practiced this. So I know what I'm doing. <laughs> So let's give him the next uh, three masks. You, found me. Hey, I want more masks. So let's give him the mask of truth. The couple's mask that we... That took us so long to get. And... Cafe's mask. Hehe, <laughs> thanks, you're nice. Um, can I ask a question? The right thing, what is it? I wonder, if you do the right thing, does it really make everybody happy? And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have enough time for the next one, so let's uh, equip our new set of masks and get the bunny hood back out. So I can move faster. And now let's try to find the actual second one. <laughs> There's two more kids running around here. One is wearing a Twin Molds mask. And the other one, this one over here, is wearing Goat's mask there. Hey, don't run away from me. And we get the same little dialogue there. So let's give him um, the Gorman mask. Or wait, it's a circus leader mask. It's uh, I got kind of confused there because of the character that gives you the mask. So we're gonna play hide and seek with this kid now. And this is probably my least favorite area in the entire game. The reason for that is because it's quite challenging. Uh, what you want to do is you want to get out your Goron mask. Also something that I haven't mentioned yet. The music in these mini dungeons is the same as the uh, music from the original dungeons that these areas are based off. This one's based off the Snowhead Temple. And as such you want to be a Goron for this. I want to get back as far as I can. And then start rolling. And when you jump over there, let go of the control stick. I messed that up. You have these teleporters right here in case you screw up, so... I sure hope I'm not gonna screw up too much though. Even though this is probably gonna be like a film montage. <laughs> you wanna make sure you go straight and whenever you jump over there, let go of the control stick. Just let yourself go over here and you'll bounce off of those treasure chests. Don't try to take the turn because you will fall if you do. And whenever you take this jump, you want to get back to you want to get your control stick out again and try to make that jump, which is really hard. There are some harder jumps though. <laughs> Especially that last part over there is like really hard. It's not that long it, if you do it right. Let's try this again. Let go of the control stick, which is going to let ourselves move. And this is like really nerve-wracking for me. <laughs> and we're at the area where we're gonna 
try to land right. Ooh. Whoa, how am I still on this thing? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I died. Or not that I, I didn't die. That's the nice thing about this area, you don't you don't take damage at all, so. I lost my momentum. How did that happen? Okay, back to the start, I guess. No, I wanna line myself up correctly. Because I wanna I don't wanna reach the end of this slow before Whoa. I am really angled. I hope I can stay on this thing. Yeah, you don't want to be too angled or else you'll lose your momentum like uh, what happened to me earlier. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't die, don't die. Stay on this thing. Oh my god. How am I still on this thing? How am I still on this? Are we gonna make it this time? Are we really gonna make it this time? Ah, crap. And this is pretty much the last stretch. Uh, well, the place we want to be is like right over there. And the thing is, I don't know if I can get to it. Oh yes, I did! Oh my god, that was awesome! I've never done that so fast. Oh my god, I thought, I seriously thought I was screwed there. Oh my god. <clears throat> and now all you have to do to get to the end, because we still have to find the kid. You just have to get back on the ramp. And then, uh, if you saw those wooden bridges. Or we can just do it from the start, it doesn't really matter. We're done with the hard part of this, so. I seriously thought we were gonna make this a film montage. All you need to do is just get... Okay, I bounced off at an angle. Thanks, game. Thanks a lot. So all you have to do is just get past this uh, first part where you bounce off. And as soon as you get to the part where you're actually, like, uh, supposed to control again, you are going to stop rolling and you just have to take one of these wooden bridges to the middle. It doesn't matter where you do it, as you can see there's, uh, there's four bridges, so as long as you don't step on that. And the exit is right over there, so stand as close to the teleporter as possible. Try to line yourself up. And roll straight forward. And I'm really happy I made it on the first try. I made this look a lot easier than it actually is. But I guess that's the let's play curse for you. So we are going to give this guy our next two masks. Let's talk. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. So yes, let us give him the uh, Don Garros mask. And the mask of sense. Um, can I ask a question? You, what makes you happy? I wonder, what makes you happy? Does it make others happy too? I did not expect to get through this this quickly. Because we're already up to the final area. And yes, that is the longest one. And I don't know if I'll be able to finish this in this episode. But I'm just gonna try. I'm doing really great, so... I'm doing a lot better than I usually do. <laughs> There's only one kid left, one with a Twin Molds mask here. And he wants four masks, and I guess this would be the time to give him our bunny hood, because we don't need it anymore. Also, uh, in case you were wondering... Oh well, let me unequip that bunny hood first before I give it to him. Uh, something worth mentioning, if you go back in time, uh, you will get all of your masks back. So it's not like you, you will lose them forever by uh, giving them away. Because that's what I thought the first time I did this. But you get to keep all of your masks, don't worry about that. Thanks, you're a nice person, aren't you? Hide and seek, let's play. Let's play indeed. So we're getting to Twin Molds uh, area. Which is luckily not the Stone Tower Temple. Uh, instead it's kind of like a, a mini boss gauntlet, I guess you could call it. Or, well it's, it's a little puzzle area. It's not, but all of the 
areas are puzzles, but it is not nearly as bad as the uh, as the previous one. So I'm just gonna equip my uh, great fairy sword here, which will make this go by a lot faster. Ouch! I'm just gonna hit you with a jump attack of that thing. Stop dodging it! Ouch! Okay, stop! See, this is what the Let's Play curse does to me. It makes me fail at like the easiest, the easiest thing here. But that is a one-hit kill with the Great Fairy Sword, so... And you know what? That's not what I was... That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to put it away, but it didn't... It didn't quite work. Okay, put that thing away. <laughs> I want to get uh, my Ocarina out and a bottle here so I can grab a fairy. I don't think I've done that in this game. Uh, so... Wait... You want to play the song of healing in this game, in um, I think it was uh, Zelda's Lullaby in the first one, in Ocarina of Time I mean. But in this game you play the uh, song of healing to get fairies from Gossip Stones. And like I said I usually don't need them, but I'm just gonna get them, uh, well, just because, uh, I don't know what might happen. Uh, let's just go on here. And we have this guy. So let's move out of the way before he hits us. Uh, that's not what I tried to do. He messed up my pattern there. <laughs> okay, jump at me. And then I'll jump attack at you with that great fairy sword. And that's pretty much a two hit kill, so... And that opens up that door, and it gives us a chest we can hookshot onto to get up there. So let's get to it. And I think this chest is gonna give us arrows. If you didn't buy them, you are going to need them in here and also in the boss battle. So I'm gonna do this one more time. And I think two fairies should be enough for me. I mean, uh, like if I fail, if I, if I even if I fail like really badly, I'm only gonna need one of those fairies. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna get, and I'm gonna save the rest of this mini dungeon for next time. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you later.